one in primary two, here is your work for the 18th of January for Monday this week. We're doing number ones to ten, which means all of the numbers you can put together to make ten. You all remember the rainbow. So you can start at the ten and you follow the red part of the rainbow all the way around to the other side to find out what goes with ten to make ten. Of course, it's zero. You don't have to put anything with ten to make ten. It's already ten. Can you look at the orange one? The orange one, it starts on the right as nine, and then you follow the arch all the way around the orange arch, and it gives you one. So we know that nine and one must make ten. Next, could you look at the green one? What numbers is it helping you learn here? What numbers do you put together to make 10 on the green one? The 3. Let's look at 3 and the 7. Seven. 7's going all the way around the arch to get to the 3, so it must be 3 and 7. Well done. Which j missing jigsaw piece makes 10? 7. And how many more to make 10? You can count up on your fingers. Fingers are super useful because they've got 10 of them. Seven fingers, seven, eight, nine, 10. Do you think it's gonna be two? No. Do you think it'll be four? No. I think it's gonna be three. Amazing, if you got it right, you should hop on one leg five times. All right, one, and then how many more to make 10? Let's see, right, get one finger. How many more do you need to get to get all the way to 10? Is it gonna be seven? Not enough. What about eight? I don't think that's enough either. I think it's gonna be nine. Oh, if you got it right, you should spin around on the spot. All right, number two. Remember, if you're having finding this tricky, look at the rainbow. Find the number two on the rainbow and follow that yellow arch all the way around. Where does it take you to? Does the yellow take you to nine? It doesn't take you to six. No, it must be eight. If you got it right this time, you should do 10 jumping jacks or 10 star jumps. They're the same thing. All right, number five. Where's five? What's five gonna have to go with to make 10? Five and four? I think that's nine. Five and six? Maybe too many. I think it's gonna have to go five and five. Of course, five and five. Look at the rainbow. Oh, nice. If you got that one right, I think you should um, hop on the other leg. Right, number four. What's four going to go with? Four's got this a blue arch on that rainbow. Can you find the four? Follow it all the way around to the other side. Four doesn't go with eight, does it? No. It doesn't go with four. I think it goes with six. And if you got that one right, I think you should just freeze on the spot. Just as frozen as you can be. And three, two, one, unfreeze. Now the next thing, if you've got anything in your house, like these kind of tea lights that you get, they're super cheap, 
from places like Tesco's or you can get something else that's that you've got 10 of. 10 pieces of Lego, 10 spoons, you can get cut out 10 little bits of paper or like maybe you've got some biscuits like Jaffa cakes. These ones are really good because one side looks really different from the other side. If you've got anything in the house that is like that, like one side is different to the other, use something like that. If not, don't worry. Now I'm going to use these to show you now some number bonds to 10. Um, I'm going to turn over these two. Can you work out what it might be telling me here? What one have we got? We've got two. And then how many more are white to make 10? One, two, three, eight, eight. Two and eight makes 10. That looks right to me. Now next, here I've turned down around some that are silver and I've got some that are still white. What number bond to 10 is this? What bond do we have? I think that's six. Six. Put a circle around the four. Put a circle around the six. And together, what are they making again? They're making ten. Did you get the same thing? whiteboard because I know that that's going to be the answer to every question but really we're not looking for answers we're looking for the bond now I'm going to turn some more of these over so I've got quite a lot of silver now and not so many of the white I wonder what bond this is Gertrude what do you think I think the kids can count it if you in the way. Bye. Hmm. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven of them are silver. Upside down, drawing upside down. Seven's really hard. There we go. And one, two, three of them are white. Must be seven and three. Is that what you got as well? Okay, what one will I do next? Um, maybe I'll change it over so that they're different. Or I might make it so that they're not all sitting together. If 
you'd like to do a little bit more on number ones to ten, I'll add the link to the number blocks video. Um, it's in series three on BBC iPlayer, or there is a link on YouTube. It's called 10, 10, 10 again, but I will put a link in the learning journals and on Twitter. And if you'd like to do a little exercise dance about number one to ten, Jack Hartman link, I will post as well.